Cool guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be talking about Anima, which is directed by Paul Thomas Anderson and stars Tom York. So Anima is not the first time Paul Thomas Anderson and Tom York have worked together. They have done a number of Radiohead music videos. So this wasn't the first time collaboration between these two. However, it was extremely, extremely exciting to hear the news that they were collaborating once again. So Netflix only kind of announced this very recently, so I was extremely excited and this last week has been just a week of absolute anticipation. I sat down last night to watch it on Netflix and put the volume on very, very loud and I was completely mesmerized by Anima. I can't really describe what this is. The teaser trailer for this did have a description of what a one reeler is and what a one reeler is is pretty much a 10 to 12 minute reel of film which was normally either a cartoon or comedy which was obviously in the past when you still shot these sort of things on film but the whole idea of it is that everything takes place on one reel of film so they were trying to go for that feel in this I guess short film, I'm going to call it a short film, some people are calling it a music video, I'm going to call it a short film, and it is completely mesmerizing. Paul Thomas Anderson does an incredible, incredible job directing this, it is completely mesmerizing from the start, the visuals are fascinating, the camera movements are so superb, they are so fluent and so smooth, and Everything just feels very dreamlike. I found that extremely, extremely beautiful. So Tom York also released his solo album by the same name yesterday, which was the day that this released onto Netflix. And obviously that album was a lot longer than the 15 minute short film, but the short film through its entirety is just songs by Tom York. And those songs are seamlessly structured into the short film and seamlessly structured into its narrative. The music in the short film is superb. It is beautiful, brutal and honest and it seamlessly works in the short film. It is perfect. The music and the visuals are integrated so so well in this short film and it creates something so so beautiful to look at and listen to. There's also a lot of, I guess, dancing and movements in the short film and, and that is all thanks to the choreographer Damien Jallet. The choreography throughout Anima was really, really interesting and it felt very unique and original and it definitely fits into the story that Paul Thomas Anderson and Tom York were trying to tell. And also the actual look of Anima was really, really awesome. It had a bit of a film feel to it and the color grading was really, really good and it definitely had that sort of Paul Thomas Anderson feel to it, which I'm very happy about. This definitely felt like a passion project by Paul Thomas Anderson and Tom York and, and I was extremely, extremely satisfied with it. I think it's a very unique story and something that Netflix doesn't usually do. So I really did enjoy this. It's definitely very arty and that although there is a story and a narrative throughout the short film, it's very symbolic and you kind of left to make up your own opinion on what everything means. I guess my interpretation kind of is that there's a bit of like a routine to life, like everything's sort of by the numbers, everything's structured, everything's the same, and then Tom York sort of goes down this dream sort of path following something that he wants, something that's against society, something that, you know, is out of his, out of his reach to a degree. And then at the end of the film, he kind of wakes up from that dream that he's in and realizes that it's going to sort of repeat itself again then he's going to go back into the structure of things back into the routine of things but his heart is still going to lead him to something that he ultimately desires and wants um, and he's passionate about but it's a bit of a struggle to get there at times so it's very very interesting that's at least my interpretation of what this could possibly be about so i've no idea what if that's actually the case but it's an extremely beautiful beautiful short film Tom York wears his heart on his sleeve throughout this thing and his partner in real life is actually the woman he's pursuing in the short film so there's definitely a lot of chemistry in that and they have a lot of emotional scenes between each other without actually saying anything just with the music and their performances and I really enjoyed anime and I really don't expect everyone to enjoy it it's definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea it is kind of arty and symbolic and interpretive so if you're not into that sort of stuff, you probably are not going to enjoy this one. But I do encourage you to watch it, especially if you're a fan of filmmaking, you're a fan of music. Um, it's, it's something very different and original and intimate. It, it has a very intimate feel to it, that you're sort of invading this person's thoughts and watching it through their perspective um, on how they view the world or how they view 
dreams or or stuff like that it's very interesting so i definitely encourage you to go watch it it's only 15 minutes long and it's on netflix all over the world now it's a netflix original so check it out and let me know what you think i'd love to hear your thoughts on it remember you can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and then of course like this video subscribe and press the little bell icon to be notified every single time i post a new video i'd love to have you guys here and communicating with you guys going forward thank you so much for all the support so far you guys have been absolutely amazing this channel is growing slowly but steady so it's an extremely exciting time to be a part of this channel and i thank every single one of you who have been with me so far you guys are amazing Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.